Alright, what's up guys? Ninja Deathstrike here, bringing you another Pokemon TCGO match. Uh, let's see, I'm playing... I think I'm playing Hammer Time with Terrakion. Yes, uh, Darkrai Terrakion with Crushing Hammers. And my opponent is going to be playing some kind of Eels variant. I think it's uh, actually just Eels and Mewtwo. Maybe there's some other stuff in there. I think there might be a Zekrom that shows up, but... Uh, it's basically just go go Mewtwo, which is fine. Uh, actually, I think that's a really good deck right now. So I lose the opening coin toss, and he's going to get to go first. Paralyze my Sableye. That's not good. Um, can't afford to Juniper there because I have too many other supporters in my hand, so I'm going to have to go for the N. Don't get a whole lot, so I just have to pass. Uh, that's bad. And things are going to go from bad to worse pretty quickly here. He's going to get two electrics out on turn two. And then I think he has a Juniper here. Uh, maybe not, but I oh, know nope, just an N, which is fine with me because that hand was terrible. Uh, this one, not the best either. <laughs> uh, can't seem to find any other Pokemon. And that's really, I mean, I guess that's the main thing I need. It's not a terrible hand, but I'd like to be able to put something down. So he gets a Mewtwo. I'm not sure if he has any uh, energy in his discard pile yet. We'll have to see, but I know he does get it in there pretty quickly. Uh, I guess not because he just attaches manually and then retreats to it. And so I attach that prism, realize that's not a good idea and then take it back. Um, hit the heads on the crushing hammer, it doesn't matter a whole lot since it's electric and it's just gonna go back, but I was gonna discard the hand anyhow, so it will, you know, just set him back a little bit for the amount of energy he has on that thing. Uh, but here I get a Terrakion, which is okay. No Dark Rye though. And I'm just gonna have to go for a Junk Hunt. Grab that crushing hammer. Probably should have just got both catchers. Okay, maybe I do. Yeah, I do. I like that better. Crushing hammer is really not going to slow down eels a whole lot. Catcher is going to be a lot more effective at stalling him simply because I'll be able to catch or stall all of those eels. But he gets a third electric into play now. And that means this Mewtwo is just going to get very scary very quickly, assuming. He can get it out of the active. He goes for an Ultra Ball. Pitches uh, looked like a Max Potion and a Catcher in to the discard, which is fi fine. He had the Juniper, but it's nice that he's not going to be able to use those things against me later. And, uh, yeah, plays down another Mewtwo. So you can see why I said the deck was just go-go Mewtwo. Here's another Ultra Ball. This time he gets two Lightning Energies, which is bad. Uh, bad for me. He's got three Electrics on the field with a bunch of energy to play with and he hits the DCE so he got everything he possibly could have wanted off of that Juniper uh, he's just gonna send up a Mewtwo with three energy and X-Ball poor Sableye to death so here I have a choice I could go for the retaliate on this Mewtwo and hit it for 90 or catch her out an eel and kill that I opt to go after the Mewtwo here um I guess it's okay. The main thing I was worried about is Mewtwo just getting supercharged to the point where it can one-shot my Dark Eyes as well. I really don't want that to happen uh, because, I, I mean, I just lose. Um, so I'm definitely more scared of the Mewtwo right now. He's got three electrics, so I would need three catchers to kill them all, and the chances of me getting those quickly enough to prevent him from building up a Super Mewtwo... I, at least at the time, I thought weren't that great, so I opt to go after the Mewtwo instead and just hope that he doesn't have a Max Potion here. He will. I know that I still have all four of my catchers as well, so as long as he doesn't have a Max Potion, there's a good chance I'll be able to kill it next turn. Uh, I have a lot of catchers, so I, I hopefully will be able to draw into one and catch it up and then kill it. Yeah, so I'm checking my discard pile here probably to see, make sure I hadn't played any catchers. 
and I'm going to attach the Dark Energy to Terrakion. I need to land cross this turn. He's going to be the only thing that is going to be allow me to attack. Uh, go for the Juniper and whiff the Catcher. Instead, I get three Ultra Balls. So that's cool. Um, and I get a Energy Switch. So I could Junk Hunt this turn if I wanted to do that. Or I could just Land Crush for 90. Looks like I'm going to opt to go for the Junk Hunt. Uh, the reasoning was... I know he plays Max Potion here. He showed me. I guess I wanted to have stuff to do next turn. I want to try and get a Dark Rye attacking. And I also want to save my Terrakion because I might need it to come up and retaliate something for two prizes later. So I'm going to make it a little harder for him to kill that and also get some resources back. So I Ultra Ball, probably for another Dark Rye. Yeah. Really just doing it to get rid of the cards in case I get end. I don't want to draw into them anytime soon. See, I, I grabbed that Eviolite and the Dark Patch. Um, Eviolite's going to be key, obviously. It'll slow down Mewtwo quite a bit against Dark Rye. He'll be doing minus 40, so I think he's going to need something like nine energies uh, to kill a Dark Rye. But he actually hits the plus power, which was good for him. Uh, a lot of decks don't play plus power anymore, but it certainly worked out for him in this instance. And thanks to my uh, turn of resource collecting, I will at least be able to attack this turn, finally get something going. I definitely got off to a pretty slow start, and he just kind of exploded. Uh, there's also a, a Zekrom out there now, too, which is a problem because it's really good against Darkrai, but I did at least hit one of my catchers off of that Juniper, so I'm going to be able to Night Spear, uh, take out his first Mewtwo before he can Max Potion it, and then put some damage elsewhere. So, there we go. Um, I get a Heads on the Crushing Hammer, which is nice. Again, it'll just slow down the acceleration on the Mewtwo, and I opt to target down one of the Electrics. Uh, it's possible if I can get another catcher, I can set it up for a turn where I kill two of them in the same turn. That would be really good. Uh, and also, I didn't think it was worth hitting the Zekrom or the Mewtwo. The Zekrom would have been an okay choice, just so I could definitely kill him even if he got an Aviolite. Uh, and the, but I don't think there was any need to hit the Mewtwo there. My goal is going to be to take it out with a couple of Night Spears, so... He does promote the Zekrom, and then he Dynamotors twice to Mewtwo, and then retreats. I guess he did, maybe, yeah, I guess he did Dynamotor three times. I just missed the first one, so I wondered why he didn't, but yeah. Nope, because there he Dynamotor there, so um, he just Dynamotor twice in order to get it, uh... I don't know. I don't. That was weird. I guess he wanted to have enough energy to retreat his Zekrom again if he needed to, but... Um, yeah, and he hit me for 80, I believe. So definitely what I should have done here is retreated my damaged Darkrai and sent up the fresh one to Night Spear. And that's a, a really, really big misplay uh, on my part. Uh, there was no reason to give up those two prizes here, but I did. You'll notice I didn't play the supporter. That's because I, I was committed to attacking with this Darkrai. I knew he was going to go down next turn. Uh, so I just want to save the end so I can end my opponent down to two. But he has another max potion, so he's going to be able to wipe all the damage off of that Mewtwo and take me out with Zekrom, which is bad for me. I did at least put... Uh, that electric up to 60, so I will be able to take two prizes next turn. That's going to be really good, because it means if I can knock out that Mewtwo, I'll win. He didn't get an Aviolite on Zekrom, so a Night Spear is going to be enough to take it out, uh, and I have the cards in my hand that I need to do that. And luckily I draw that um, Dark Patch too, so I'm able to energy switch up to the Dark Rye while keeping the energy on Sableye just in case I need it. And now I can put him down to two cards and hopefully get something going here. So I do get a catcher. I don't think I'm going to play it this turn, though. I definitely want to save it uh, to be able to drag his Mewtwo up if he tries to retreat it later. And um, I'm able to get two prizes here to tie the game up. And now I just need to 
deal with this Mewtwo, basically. Uh, if I can kill it before it gets enough energy to blow me away, I'll be all set. Um, he plays down another one, so that's really bad for me, because now he's going to be able to just kind of retreat back and forth between the two and um, stall me out. I don't have any healing cards in this deck because I play Terrakion, so once that damage goes onto my Darkrai, it's going to stay there, and that's bad. He has the potential to put four energy on the Mewtwo next turn, which would be 100 damage. It's going to be 20 short of taking me out. And so it looks like I use the catcher to bring up the eel. I just want to try and limit how much energy he's going to be able to put on things. Um, and I still had two catchers left, so I knew there's a decent chance to hit the other one. And there I actually do with the Bianca for two. So um, I have the win next turn. I took out his energy acceleration, so he's only going to be able to dynamo her once this turn which is going to be really important. It's going to make it really hard for him to get the cards he needs. He needs a lot of stuff to be able to take me out. Um, actually, I guess not. He needs five energy, I think. So he needs... Yeah. But um, I hadn't seen him play DCE yet. Turns out he had it in his hand off of his two cards, so that kind of sucks. Um he hit exactly the card he needed. I don't know how many DCEs he plays, but he hadn't played one the whole game. He just happened to have it there. It's going to be just enough damage to take me out. So a little unfortunate, but it was a really close game. I would have had the win next turn if he hadn't drawn the DCE. So hopefully you guys liked it. Thumbs up if you liked the match. Leave me a comment about it. Check out the links in the description, and I'll have more videos coming your way shortly. Thanks for watching, guys.